Now, display of these or the televisation of these pictures shortly after the arrest is a further sign that the government, the interim government, is bent on humiliating the Muslim Brotherhood and running it to the ground before going into any talks with them. So they just want to weaken them as much as they can before entering any negotiations with them. That's true, but are there not loyal lieutenants to um, fill his shoes now? Because they're saying you can kill us, you can destroy us as much as you want, but we will still here and fight to the death. That's what the uh, Muslim Brotherhood supporters and members have been saying, but however, there's, at the moment, there's none in the Muslim Brotherhood of the same caliber commanding the same followership who would take over very quickly and fill Mr. Badia's shoes. Therefore, there's going to be a vacuum, a power vacuum for a while before somebody else steps in. And besides, I do not think that the government, the interim government, will allow that to happen because the government has such a resolve on weakening, if not destroying, the Muslim Brotherhood. Arresting the three top guys, putting them in jail, bending trial, is one sign that the government is not really ready to talk with the Muslim Brotherhood. What charges are they being held on? Are they legitimate? That's anybody's guess. The government is saying they are legitimate. Uh, people have died in protest outside the presidential palace. They also died outside the Muslim Brotherhood headquarters in Muqattam uh, last June. And therefore, there is a case to answer. Besides, many of the Muslim Brotherhood leaders and clerics affiliated with it have been sending a message of violence, inciting violence against anybody else who opposes them, even incitement to murder. Uh, the Egyptian law is not entirely clear about the media, about broadcasting the media messages of incitement to violence and murder. Therefore, it's quite a, a grey area, uh, to put it this way. But for the Muslim Brotherhood, there, after President Mohamed Morsi was deposed on the 3rd of July by the military, their supporters went on a sit-in, two sit-ins, one in Nasser city, just near where Mr. Badia was arrested, and that lasted six and a half weeks until it was broken up by force last Wednesday. And that day I was actually in Egypt and it was quite hairy, to put it mildly.